Linda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable note cards using the Cool Treats stamp set and the Frozen Treats framelits. These cards are just super cute and they're easy to make. The first two are stamped cards and the last three involve stamping and some die cutting. Aren't they adorable? And the best part of it all is tomorrow I'm going to show you how to make a super cute box to put them in. So let's get started so I can show you how to make these cards. To start off with, you're going to need a package of Whisper White note cards and envelopes and you're going to want the cards in this size so that they can fit into the note card box that I'm going to show you how to make tomorrow. So we're going to make five different designs and we're going to start off by doing the stamp designs. So have your note card in the horizontal position and you're going to take a ruler and you're going to measure over two and a half inches from the left side and you're going to measure down two inches from the top and that will be my starting stamping point. Then you're going to need your peekaboo peach ink pad. Let me open that up and you're going to need this stamp which is the popsicle stamp and you're going to use the mark that you just made to line up the bottom of the popsicle and you're going to center it on that dot. Then you're going to make sure your stamp is cleaned off and we're going to take the next color which is lemon lime twist and I'm going to ink that up, that same popsicle stamp up and I'm going to stamp that about quarter of an inch from the first popsicle over on the right hand side. Then I'm going to take my next color which is Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to take this popsicle stamp. This one has a bite out of it and I thought that would be fun to do one that had a bite out of it and I'm going to stamp it the same distance apart from the other two popsicles so just kind of make sure you've got it lined up and then stamp it down like that. Then for the popsicle sticks I'm going to use Sahara sand ink and I'm going to use this little stamp that's the stick for the bottom and I'm just going to center this on the bottom of each of the popsicles like that. Then I'm going to bring my flirty flamingo ink pad back in and I'm going to use this greeting that says I hope your day is as sweet as you are. Ink that up and I'm going to stamp that right below my little sticks like that. And then all you need to do is fold the card along the score line and use your bone folder to smooth down that fold. And there you go card number one is done. So for card number two you're going to need another note card and you're going to make yourself a mark again and this time we're going to measure over three quarters of an inch from the side and one and a quarter inches up from the bottom and that will be my starting point. This time we're going to start off with a lemon lime twist ink and we're going to need the long skinny popsicle. Ink that up and I'm going to put the bottom corner of that popsicle right against my pencil mark like that. While I have the lemon lime twist ink pad out I'm going to take these stripes that fit on top of the long skinny popsicle and I'm going to add them right over top. Just make sure it's lined up like that. Then I'm going to clean off my stamps. And the next color we're going to use is Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to ink up my long skinny popsicle in Daffodil Delight and I want to stamp these about a quarter inch apart and I also want some stripes on my Daffodil Delight popsicle so I'm going to add those right now. Make sure they're centered popsicle and then stamp it down. Then we need some popsicle sticks again so I'm going to use Sahara sand ink and my little popsicle stick and I'm just going to center them at the bottom 
of these two popsicles like that and then I'm going to use my peekaboo peach ink pad and I've combined two words your and sweet and I'm going to stamp them in peekaboo peach and then just put them to the right of the popsicles like that then all you need to do is fold the card along the score line and use your bone folder to smooth down the fold and there you go card number two is done so for the last three cards we're going to need to do some die cutting so I've got my big shot here I've got my magnetic platform and I've got one cutting plate already down then I've got some scrap pieces of flirty flamingo crumb cake cardstock soft suede real red and some silver foil paper and I'm going to use various die cuts to cut things out so let's start with this piece which is kind of that ice cream that soft ice cream and we're going to put that on the flirty flamingo we're going to need a uh, waffle cone so I'm using this little piece right here we're going to do a scoop of ice cream chocolate ice cream so I'm going to put that on there uh, I also need uh, this type of cone the flat bottom cone and I'm going to need a dish and so that will be cut out in silver foil and I'm going to need one little cherry so I'm just going to put the little cherry on here like that then I'm going to put my second cutting plate over top and we're going to cut all those pieces out in one shot and I wanted to show you how the things look when they get cut out so the silver one just kind of becomes a silver dish the comb piece is kind of cool because it also embosses while it cuts so you can see it's kind of got that waffling on the bottom so I think that's really cool same with this waffle cone right here it uh, cuts and it scores at the same time the swoosh it just ends up being plain the chocolate ice cream the same way and then last but not least we've got our little tiny cherry so in the interest of time I also cut some more pieces that we'll need so for card number three you'll need the waffle cone and a flirty flamingo soft serve ice cream for card number four you're going to need three of the flat bottom cones and ice cream in uh, three different colors so soft suede very vanilla and flirty flamingo for card number five you'll need your silver bowl you'll need an ice cream scoop in soft suede flirty flamingo very vanilla and then of course the cherry in real red so for card number three you're going to need another note card and we're going to start off by stamping the greeting so again we're going to make ourselves a little mark so I know exactly where to stamp my greeting so I'm going to measure over two inches and about half an inch from the bottom then I'm going to take my flirty flamingo ink and the greeting that says happiest birthday and I'm just going to ink that up flirty flamingo and the bottom corner of my B is going to line up with that pencil mark that I just made like that then before I remove my flirty flamingo ink pad I'm going to take this swirl that goes on top of my ice cream and I'm just going to ink this up and this will give this die cut piece just a little bit more texture so it looks like that isn't that cool and then we just need some Tombow to glue the pieces on so I'll start with my little waffle cone and I'm going to take that and glue it just to the left of my happy birthday like that and then I'm going to take my ice cream and add it over top of my cone like that and then all you need to do is fold this along the score line and use your bone folder to smooth down the fold and card number three is done 
So for card number four, we're going to need a note card and we're going to stamp the greeting first. So I'm going to make myself a little mark. I'm going to measure over one and a quarter inches and about half an inch from the bottom. I'm going to take my soft suede ink pad, open it up, and I'm going to take this greeting that says, I hope your birthday is sprinkled with everything great. So I think that's kind of cool. And I tried to match the images that I was using with the greeting. So this card will have some sprinkles on it. And so I'm going to line up that S with that pencil mark. And when it looks good, I'm gonna stamp it down like that. And while I have my soft suede ink pad out, I'm gonna stamp some sprinkles on the soft suede ice cream scoop. So I'm gonna just stamp some chocolate sprinkles onto my chocolate ice cream, like that. I'm also going to take my vanilla ice cream and stamp some chocolate sprinkles on it. Then I'm going to need some flirty flamingo sprinkles. So I'm opening that up. I've cleaned off my little stamp and now I'm going to add some flirty flamingo sprinkles to my vanilla scoop. And I'm also going to add some flirty flamingo sprinkles to my flirty flamingo scoop. like that. Now I just need to glue on all of these cones. So I'm going to start with the middle cone first and I want to have this cone just above the greening because my little box from tomorrow uh, has a little window in it and I want to be able to display all of my stamping right through the window. So then I'm going to take my next cone, put some Tombow on it and I'm gonna just put it right next to this little cone. I'm gonna take my last cone, put some Tombow on it, and put this down like that. Then I'm going to take my ice cream and put Tombow on each of those and just add them to the tops of the cones. I'm going to overlap them just a little bit with the bottom of the cone. And then just the last one. And now all I need to do is fold my card along the score line and use my bone folder to smooth down that fold. And there you go, card number four is all done. So we just have one card left to go, so I'll need another note card. And I'm going to make myself a mark on the bottom. So this one is gonna be two and three quarter inches over from the side and half an inch over from the bottom. And I'm going to need my Real Red ink pad. And I'm going to use the greeting that says, you're the cherry to my Sunday. And I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to align the bottom of the greeting with the pencil mark I just made. Like that. Then all I need to do is glue on my die cut pieces. So I'm going to take first my little bowl, put some Tombow on the bottom of it, and I'm just going to align this so the bottom of the bowl lines up with the bottom of my greeting and make sure it's straight. Then I'm going to glue first my chocolate ice cream. Put a little Tombow on it. I want it to overlap the bowl a little bit and have it come off the side just a little bit. Then I'm going to take my strawberry ice cream and glue it right next to my chocolate ice cream. And then finally, my vanilla ice cream is going to be glued 
right on top of it. I'm bringing down my vanilla ice cream quite a bit because I want to give myself enough space so that this card will also fit in the window from the box that I'm going to show you how to make tomorrow. Then I've got my little cherry so I just need a tiny bit of glue on the back of my cherry. And I'm going to put my cherry down on the ice cream just a bit so that it will still be able to be shown through the window like that. Then I just need to fold this card along the score line and use my bone folder to smooth down that fold. And here are all five of the fabulous cards I just showed you how to make. All the supplies you'll need to make them are available for purchase on my blog. And I can't wait to show you the note card box that I've created to put these in. You're just going to love it. So stay tuned tomorrow for that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Hershey's Nugget Gift Tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store. Hi, it's Brenda again. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog for more information on my projects and to learn about my rewards program, or just watch another one of my videos. Thanks for watching.